Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. We saw them. Oh my God, that is my best friend in the whole world. We've been best friends. Yeah, well, let me tell you what, your best friend is not your best friend. You're pregnant? I ain't listening to you. I'm not You're listening. You're pregnant with his you baby? From Cheater Surveillance Cameras, you are about to view Actual True Stories 55, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hey, me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get down, Get down. Get down. Real Reality Television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to another episode of Cheaters. Meet Stacia Calvin, a dedicated mother of two, afraid that the father of her children is keeping another woman on the side. With nowhere else to turn, Stacia hires cheaters to hopefully resolve her uncertainties. Stacia Colvin, age 22, a data entry clerk who is deeply concerned that her boyfriend may be pushing another woman's buttons. Leon and I first met in high school. Um, I was a sophomore, he was a senior. He was great, he was not like anyone else. He cared, he was sincere, he bought my lunch. He did everything that any other guy wouldn't do. It was great, he was wonderful. We went to school together, we left school together, we just did everything together, went to the mall, went out to eat, and he was just wonderful, he was different. Well, four years ago, um, on, in October, four years ago, we had our first son. His name is Andre, and everything was fine then. We never, I mean, it didn't change anything. He was there for me, he was there for him. He was wonderful. We had our second child, Trey, and he's two. Um, everything was fine then as well. We didn't argue, We he brought home money, did everything he was supposed to do, and about six months ago. Six months ago is when everything started changing. At that time, he began not coming home at night. He would sleep on the couch if he did come home. He would come in late. He has never done that. He's been there every night, never left my side or our kid's side. We don't even have sex anymore, and it's, I don't understand why. I mean, I know a man. A man has to have sex, and, it's, and he's not with me, and it always used to be, and I just don't understand why it's not anymore. I mean, I found condoms in his pocket. We don't even use condoms, obviously. <laughs> we have two kids. I, will, I need to know the truth. I need to know the truth for our family, for everything that I live for. I, I can't be the one that he cheats on. I mean, I need to know the truth because my feelings are involved, and if he keeps doing this, my, I get hurt every single day, and I'd rather be hurt one time than 10 times. I'd rather be hurt one time and just get it over with and just go on about our lives and have somebody that is there for me and my family and that can do right by me and my family. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Licensed Investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Leon Hester, age 24, an unemployed gentleman who may be trying to lay off his girlfriend to hire a new lover. Investigation day one. Cheaters PI set up shop at the apartment that Stacia shares with the suspect and their two children. After kissing Stacia goodbye, suspect Leon Hester strolls down the stairs and heads toward his car. Hester apparently forgets an item of importance as Stacia tosses an unknown object down to him. He then giggles to himself and hops into his cherished vehicle. He zips into a parking lot of a grocery store where investigators are surprised when a young female immediately walks up to his car. Hester gets out of the car to give the unidentified female a big old bear hug. Hester is obviously very happy to see this person. He cracks a grin from ear to ear. 
The two then wander inside the grocery store with Cheater's cameras recording every step they take. Cheater's PIs realize that these two are more than just friends and call it a day after the two head in opposite directions. Investigation day two. Cheater's crews wait at the suspect's apartment for several hours and then jump into action as he casually gets into his car and rolls on down the road. Hester pulls into a local restaurant and meets up with the same girl with whom he was seen the day before. Investigators are disappointed but not surprised when suspect Hester grabs the hand of the female companion, who has now been identified as Melissa Suters. After lunch, the always smiling suspect and his new love interest slowly walk back to his car. They both get in and immediately start to get their groove on. After suspect Hester gets what he wants, he firmly sends companion suitors on her way. Investigation day three. Cheaters lies in wait at Stacia and Leon's apartment. Leon Hester heads out after enjoying a relaxing morning of sleeping in. He apparently runs into a little snag after attempting to start his vehicle. Evidently, Leon is not mechanically inclined. He quickly gives up and attempts to call someone on his cell phone. After a short while, companion Suter is spotted pulling into the complex. Hester hops into her car, and the two peel off to enjoy another beautiful afternoon together. Suspect Hester proves that he's a smooth talker by giving Stacia an earful of dishonesty in an earlier telephone call. There are no doubts that suspect Hester is guilty as charged, and Cheater's crews contact Stacia to appoint her judge, jury, and executioner. After the break, the confrontation. Unfortunately, Stacia's deep-seated suspicions are a sad reality, and Cheaters dutifully informs her of Hester's daytime activities. Lost in self-doubt, Stacia remains determined to see her investigation through till the very end. I know it's uh, been difficult for you for the last few weeks, and I really appreciate you coming out and meeting with us tonight. It's been rough hearing the stories about you and your children, and, and they came and said, Mommy, why are you crying? That really affected me as well. And so yeah, I found it was important that we get to you as soon as possible and get you this information that you need, OK? On this day of investigation, there was you and the children. He kissed you by. We followed him over to a local grocery store. This is oh where we. Oh, my god, that's my best friend. Yeah, well, let me tell you what, your best friend is not your best friend because here we questioned it, they hugged, they went in, we followed them around inside the store shopping, then she gets in the car with him. There they are making out now in the car. Oh, my God. They were kissing for some 15, 20 minutes in the car. She then gets out, gets in her car. On this day of investigation, your loving boyfriend went for another drive, and where does he go? To a local <laughs> restaurant, meets up with the same girl. She is now in, God, she's put her head in his lap, and it's just sickening. I'm sure that's enough information for you, but this is the day that the car broke down. Oh, yeah. She picks him up, and they go for another rendezvous at a school. When he's away from you, this is what the hell he's doing. And the reason I brought you to this obscure parking lot is because they're here. They're inside the mall. We can't go in there right now, but. We got security coming up. Heads up, Tommy. Security's on his way. Let me see. Excuse me. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? You cannot film. I'm going to ask you to leave right now. Okay, I can't have five minutes? No, sir. Okay. You have to leave now. Okay. Thank you. Obviously, they didn't have any clue what you're having to go through, so we're just going to have to follow them. 
and if they stop the next stop they go to, then we're going to be on them, and we'll we'll pop them there. Okay. Our detectives are on them. They're not going to lose them. Yeah, talk to me. Let's go. They're mobile. Let's load up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to go uh, straight under the freeway. You'll see a warehouse music parking lot and another shopping center. Just go straight into it. Yeah, talk to me. Coming through the door. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. Let's go. Let's go. How could you do that? How could you do that? I mean, both of y'all motherfuckers. What the? What do you have to say for yourself, pal? You have two kids at home. What about the flowers, the letters, all the stuff, the cards you wrote her? I love you, baby. You're the only one. Why are Do you, you messing her? around with his, her best friend? You love her? Is that any way to... Me. You love her? That's our two kids. You're supposed to be at the store with your mother. You should be ashamed what did you buy? of yourself, man. What did you buy? And what's your story? Yeah, and that's up at you she because... something was going on. You, for real, you're supposed to be my best friend, and I tell you everything. You take care of your kids. Is that the way you take care of your wife, what? your your girlfriend? I said you got another one on the way. You're pregnant. I ain't listening to you. I'm not you're listening. You're pregnant with his you baby. Got me. Oh. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. You got me. Oh. You're pregnant with his hey. baby. She ain't fixing to be pregnant no more. No, that's the way. I'm you gonna tell you that right now. Do you love this girl? You love her? What about you? Your woman, you've been with for. Oh, so you, you love me because I have your kids. Them. Why can't And you... why do you love her? Because she sucks your right. What? You know, the last six months you've been putting <laughs> her through doing, hell. You ain't doing it for him, obviously. Coming up next, the conclusion. Six months you've been putting <laughs> her through hell. You ain't doing it for him, obviously. I would have caught your ass at the mall. Leave. Leave, bitch. You bitch. Y'all mama. Just say about yourself. You're gonna go home and talk about it. All you gotta do at the house. Yeah, you're coming with me because you ain't fixing to leave with her, but all you gotta do at the house is get your because you ain't fixing to live there. All That's the, so I can't believe you did that to me, man, for real. All the nights so? she had to sit up. That's what you get. Have you ever heard of honesty? Why didn't you say, hey, I want out of this relationship? Because he's a bitch. Did you want out of it? <laughs> How would your mother feel you treating your woman like that? The mother of your yeah, children. Yeah, I can't wait to tell your mother. You ain't got to take this. Let's go. Come on. He's not going with you. Why in the f are you here? Bet, why, you, why do you think that we was here in the first place? Did he come he's here not with leaving you? with you? Yes, he is. No, he's not, he is not fixing to go with her. He ain't fixing to go with you. Hey, hey, hey. No, he's not fixing to go with you. And if you put your hand on your ass, just like that. Come on, let's go. I'll be right back. Y'all just stay right here. I'm... You're not going with her. You're not going with her. You're not even ashamed or anything of what you've been doing. Well, I wish you all the luck because you're going to need it. Did you have to do that? Did you have to do that? Did you? Hmm? You're not gonna hurt him, are you? No, I'm not gonna hurt him until we get home. Right. Come on, why don't you get right in oh, here? Oh, hell no! She no. just doesn't need. No, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. All right. I'll call you. Get in the car. We're just gonna get in the car. Get over. What are you gonna go stay with her? Yes, I'll go stay with her. You will if go you, stay with her. If you put me out, I'll go stay with her. <laughs> Bye. You're gonna have a baby with her? Yeah, she have one, it's mine. Oh, and you know that. You know it's yours. Oh, so you think you're the only one that she's sleeping with? You, you don't use the protection? Yeah. So what does this mean, nothing? This don't mean? I don't mean me anymore.
Even though her worst nightmares realized, Stacia's relieved to have the incident out in the open and looks forward to starting a new life. Later in the show, Cheaters discloses the final outcome of her relationship. But next, Cheaters interviews Anastasia Shmakova, recently snared in the betrayal of her boyfriend Aramis. Anastasia returns to review the events of her confrontation and to atone for her actions. Anastasia Shmakova, age 20. Anastasia indulges cheaters in a follow-up on her progress after a previous involuntary appearance on the show for infidelity. When you first came up on me, and I, I was scared, very scared, when the rest of the cameras, because I realized that somebody was following me or something. When the rest of the cameras, I started, I was really scared because I know he find out somehow. Start talking. Excuse me. My name's Start Tommy talking. Grant from the TV show Cheaters. Start and talking. We've been doing Start surveillance talking. on you. Away from my face, weeks. bitch. She doesn't want to be away anyway. from my face. Why? You better start talking. What is this? And I thought she was like really, really good friend. And then she starts to be nicer and nicer to me. She started touching me and all the time. She said, You're so beautiful. And I started, she was like the only friend that I could talk to, like girlfriend. And I kind of trusted her, and one thing led to another. Two years. She's your friend, huh? Yeah? She's your friend. Yeah. Well, we have you surveillance footage. footage of you guys making out and well, sleeping together. Well, maybe she together. likes me more than she likes him. Yeah. Really? I couldn't say no, because I, I liked her as a friend. I just couldn't say no. But I, and she was telling me, you need a new experience. Why would you want to be with one guy your, your whole life? And he would never find out. But I do not love her. I do not love girls. It was a mistake. I made a mistake. Would you forgive me? I forgive, but I'll never forget. <laughs> I was really, at, at, at that point, I understood that I could lose him. Because never before I was I, w I was I wouldn't even thinking about I wouldn't even think about losing him, and that was the moment that I really thought, oh my God, I can lose that guy that I really love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You should you ever forgive me? I don't know about forgiveness. Our attitude to our relationship definitely changed because of what happened. I I was. Uh, I, I, I appreciate him more than I was before. And him, I think he appreciates me more too because he understood that he can lose me also. I love you. I love you too. Let's go home. We are planning on getting married, but not right now because we, we're not ready to get married right now. I'm kind of too young, maybe, but. We talk, we're talking about it, yes, and later on in life. We are really, have a really close relationship right now. Closer than ever, I would think. Stacia Colvin is relieved and happy that the confrontation is over and done with. She reports that she loves Leon, but is not sure about letting him back into her heart. She has many mixed feelings in regards to Hester, but acknowledges that he is the father of her children, and they'll simply have to try to get along. She states that Leon will have to get a job and stop having sex with other girls if they are to ever attempt a reconciliation. Leon Hester tells cheaters that he is deeply in love with Stacia and does not want to risk breaking up their family. He has thought long and hard about the consequences of his actions and now promises to get his act together. Hester claims, however, that he has lost some attraction to Ms. Colvin due to her rapid weight gain. Leon said that he is willing to meet her halfway for the sake of his children, but insists that she must take the initiative by slimming down. Melissa Suters refuses to comment on the entire ordeal, but has reported that she's very embarrassed and regrets hurting her best friend.